Scooters are the ideal runabouts when it comes to tackling the urban jungle. They're also pretty convenient and practical, which makes them the ideal choice for the family-oriented buyer. Now, you also have a younger crowd who wants the same convenience and practicality, albeit in a more sportier avatar. And that's where you have the more sportier scooters coming in. The TVS N-Torque has been one of the most popular sporty scooters since its launch in 2018. And we tell you five things that we really liked about it and two things that we didn't. It is paramount that a sporty scooter should look the part when it comes to design. And the TVS n -talks design is something that will surely appeal to the younger generation. The n -talk is a sharp looking scooter. The front fascia on the n -talk looks sporty with its sharp creases which will work for the youth. But the styling is restrained enough to have a wider appeal. This here is the race edition which additionally gets a cooler looking LED headlamp and DRLs along with racier colours. Apart from the sharp bodywork, the 12 inch diamond cut alloys wrapped in chunky rubber give the N-Talk a very performance focused look. Overall, the N-Talk in our opinion is pretty much one of the best looking sporty scooters out there. Now a sporty scooter needs to match the show with the go. The N-Torque is powered by a 125cc single-cylinder air-cooled engine with a three-valve head that generates 9.1 bhp and 10.5 newton meters of torque. And the performance is there for the taking. Whack the throttle open and you're treated with a strong surge of acceleration and it's one of the quickest scooters out there. Its power delivery feels linear all the way to a claimed top whack of 95 km per hour. What also stands out is the refinement of the engine, especially when rolling from 20 km per hour to 60 km per hour for that quick overtake. Even when cruising at speeds between 60 to 70 km per hour, the end talk feels unstressed and still has enough oomph to overtake. Braking duties handled by very cool looking petal disc up front and drums at the rear. And let me add that the braking performance too is excellent. No matter how sporty, the primary function of a scooter is to tackle the urban jungle. So, it needs to be comfortable, it needs to tackle potholes and be easy to ride as well. And the end talk does well here too. The seating position is neutral and very comfortable. Even the footboard is nice and low. Handling is sharp and it's very flickable and seems easy to tip into corners, making it fun to ride through traffic snarls. The suspension setup with a telescopic front and hydraulic rear shock is firm yet pliant. It absorbs a majority of potholes and undulations. It also doesn't thud over big potholes as harshly as some other scooters. One of the main highlights of the N-Talk was the amount of features it came with. The instrument console, however, is the piece their resistance. There are two main modes, street and sport. There are also two more screens, the last lap screen and the best lap screen. Street mode displays two trip meters, the odometer, a fuel gauge, and in another first, an oil temperature gauge. A clock is always on display, which is nice. TVS's standard eco and power indicators are also on the display. It also shows you the lap distance, lap time, average speed, top speed recorded, and best 0 to 60 km per hour time. The scooter also gets Smart Connect, thanks to which the instrument screen also displays incoming calls and messages along with navigation directions. With all that performance and features, the TVS N-Talk is priced at 78,765 rupees ex showroom Bangalore. Now that is some serious value for money considering its immediate competition like the Aprilia SR125 
comes in at a whopping 92,000 rupees. Even the Suzuki Bergman Street comes in at 80,000 rupees, which just makes this very good value. Now let's get to the part that we do not like about the N-Talk. A scooter's main USP is its footboard, which is helpful for carrying a variety of stuff. In the N-Talk, however, the space in the footboard area is at a premium. It's also quite narrow and if a small backpack or packet is placed here, there is very little space for the rider's feet. With a heavyish curb weight of 118 kg and its sporty nature, the N-Talk does have a tendency to empty its 5.8 litre tank rather quickly, especially when you start enjoying the performance on offer. On a fuel run, the N-Talk managed 45 km per litre when ridden sedately, but that figure starts falling rapidly if driven in power mode. The N-Talk then comes across as a brilliant scooter from TVS, offering a sporty design, effortless performance and a bunch of features. So if you're in the market for a scooter and don't want to compromise on performance, the N-Talk offers everything that you need and more.